Hi, I'm Lindy Groot, and today we're going to build a quick clock tower using some files I created in Illustrator. I'm going to start by going to File, Import, EPSF Loader. If you want a uh, curve division level is fine. Convert to closed polygons and polylines. Uh, go ahead and load the tower cut file and hit OK. First thing we want to do is to line up the inside edge of the building to the Y axis. So we're going to hit Command-0 on your keypad or hit the button in the top right corner to expand. So hit T to get your Move tool. Line that up close to the Y axis. Scroll up to the top of the building. Switch to Points. Select the two points at the top. Hit Shift A to zoom in. Switch back to polygons. Go ahead and move that line to the Y axis. Hit Shift A to zoom out. Hit zero on your numeric keypad to go back to the four window view. Hit Shift A to get your view back. Next thing we're going to do is grab the two pieces that we'll be using to boolean in a moment. Select that and that, cut them, paste them onto layer two, and go back to layer one. We're going to lathe this building shape. So go to multiply, hit lathe, and hit end to bring up the numeric keypad. You want four sides, the axis to be Y, the start angle to be zero, and the, the negative number here prevents flipped polygons. Close that window, hit return to drop the tool. Hit Y to switch to the rotate tool. Hit N to bring up the numeric palette. Change the angle to 45, and hit apply. Great. Close the window, and go to the second layer. Select Extrude, click on both shapes in the top view window, and drag upward. Hit Return to drop the tool. Hit T to grab your Move tool. Hold the Control button and slide it down con to constrain the movement. Copy. Click on Layer 3. Paste. Hit Y to get the Rotate tool. Hit N to get the numeric palette, change the angle to 90 degrees, and hit apply. Close that. Go back to layer one, and put layer two in the background. Go to the construct tab, select boolean, and select subtract. Select layer three and put it in the background. Select boolean again, Select the first layer, zoom in, Shift-A to zoom in all together, and there you have it. One quick and dirty building. We can put on a quick surface and hit Q to name it. We'll call it Tower. I'm going to open the Surface Editor. Go to the Texture button. Change the projection to cubic. Set width tile to reset, height tile to reset, and automatic sizing, and use texture. We now have a clock tower that took hardly any time to build.